Hi everyone, we are in Athens, Greece. We are doing a disruption this evening, a direct action everywhere disruption. We have about 30 people here with us tonight and it is going to be quite the evening. We have uh, a very busy area. We're all gonna be lining up. We have signs, we have a megaphone. 30 people are joining us tonight. This is really good. It is summer vacation here at the moment. So a lot of people are actually away. So to get these numbers is incredible. We're going to post this entire live stream on our IGTV, so you can share it from there. Good evening, everyone. This is a peaceful demonstration which won't take up too much of your time. We are here for the forgotten victims of our food choices, the animals. We are not here to judge anyone as we too all once ate animal products until we learned the violent and disgusting truth that the animal products industry deliberately keep hidden from us all. Businesses and consumers have a right to know what we're paying for. Cows raised to feed are dewarmed, branded and castrated. Pigs have their teeth ears and tails mutilated and are also castrated. Chickens are deep beaked. Pigs have their teeth, ears and tails mutilated and are also castrated. Chickens are deep beaked and all of these agonizing mutilations are done to baby animals without pain relief. To force lactation, Mother dairy cows are repeatedly forcibly impregnated, have their babies stolen, and are forced to produce around 10 times more milk than they naturally would for four to seven years until the production declines and they're no longer profitable and are killed for cheap hamburger meat or pet food. Female dairy calves are raised to suffer the same agonizing fate as their mothers. Male dairy calves won't produce milk and won't grow big enough, fast enough to be profitably raised for meat and so they're considered waste products by the dairy industry and are killed within days or raised and killed for veal. Egg laying hens come from hatcheries. Baby male chicks won't produce eggs and won't grow big enough, fast enough to be profitably raised for meat and so they're considered waste products by the egg industry and are killed along with any baby female chicks perceived to be deformed or weak by either being ground up alive, gassed or suffocated. This is standard legal practice on all commercial egg farms, caged, farm-laid, free-range, organic and higher welfare. Egg-laying hens are forced to produce up to 340 eggs a year compared to the 10 to 15 that a wild hen would lay until their production declines and they're no longer profitable and are killed for cheap things for pet food. These are just some of the many horrifying realities for animal victims of the animal product industry. And industries are aware that most people are good and don't want to pay for these things to be done to animals. So they try to ease our consciences and convince us that animals are killed humanely. But the truth is that no animal goes willingly to their execution. They try desperately to evade the kill shoot, the knockbox, the stun gun, and the slaughterman. So how do we humanely kill a sentient being who doesn't want to die? And because the science is clear that we don't need to eat animal products to be healthy, then how can we morally justify needlessly yeah, killing sentient beings who don't understand. want to die? Animal products have been scientifically linked to some of our leading causes of death, including heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and some forms of cancer. Animal agriculture is one of the leading causes of climate change and environmental destruction. And with so many meat, dairy, and egg products made from plants available at supermarkets, eateries, and restaurants just like these, it's never been more convenient or tasty to make the switch. Watch the film Dominion for free on YouTube. Watch the film Dominion for free on YouTube to learn more about how animals are exploited for food, 
clothing, entertainment, testing, and the pet industry. Because it's not food. It's violence. It's not food. It's violence. It's not food. It's violence. Humane slaughter is a lie. Animals do not want to die. Humane meat is a lie. Animals do not want to die. Humane milk is a lie. Animals do not want to die. Humane cheese is a lie. Animals do not want to die. Humane eggs are a lie. Animals do not want to die. Don't buy the humane lie. Animals do not want to die. Don't buy the humane lie. Animals do not want to die. Our bodies. Not ours. Breast flesh. Not ours. Not ours. Their eggs. Not ours. Their honey. Not ours. Their skin. Not ours. Their babies. Not ours. Their lives. Not ours. Animals feel pain. Just like us. Animals feel happiness. Just like us. Animals suffer. Just like us. Animals have families. Just like us. Animals get scared. Just like us. Animals want to live just like us. We want freedom for the animals. We want freedom for the animals. We want freedom for the animals. We want justice for the animals. We want justice for the animals. What do we want? Animal liberation. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Animal liberation. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Animal liberation.
disrupting a place of violence. That's what we're doing tonight. It doesn't matter how people react. It doesn't matter if they put their fingers in their ears. They are hearing a message. We are disrupting a place where animals being considered food is becoming normalised. It is not normal what we do to animals. It's simply being normalised. So we have to disrupt this. We have to force the issue of animal rights. We have to force people to think about who's on their plate. Even if they don't like what they're hearing, it doesn't matter. We encourage people to wa watch We encourage people to watch the video, The Science of Social Change, on Direct Action Everywhere's YouTube channel. Please learn more about disruption, how it works, why it works, how it's been used throughout history in other social justice movements. Very important. The animal rights movement needs to do more disruption. Okay? This has to be consistent. Big numbers, consistent disruptions right around the world. Okay? It's an adrenaline rush, guys. This is really something. This is something. I hope this inspires you. Please keep watching and sharing. Please organize some disruptions in your area. Not ours. 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 Animals feel pain. Just like us. Animals feel happiness. Just like us. Animals suffer. Just like us. Animals have families. Just like us. Animals get scared. Just like us. Animals want to live. Just like us. We want freedom. We want justice. For the animals. We want freedom. For the animals. We want justice. For the animals. We want freedom. For the animals. We want justice. For the animals. What do we want? Animal liberation. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Don't buy the humane lie. Animals do not want to die. Don't buy the humane lie. Animals do not want to die. Don't buy the humane lie. Animals do not want to die. Humane slaughter is a lie. Animals do not want to die. Humane meat is a lie. Animals do not want to die. Humane cheese is a lie. Animals do not want to die. Humane milk is a lie. Animals do not want to die. Humane eggs are a lie. Animals do not want to die. It's not food. It's violence. 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 There's no excuse for animal abuse. There's no excuse for animal abuse. There's no excuse for animal abuse. Taste is not an excuse for animal abuse. Culture is not an excuse for animal abuse. Tradition is not an excuse for animal abuse. Convenience is not an excuse for animal abuse. Habit is not an excuse for animal abuse. There's never been an excuse for animal abuse because it's not food. It's violence. It's not food. It's violence. It's not food. It's violence. Animals feel pain just like us. Animals suffer just like us. Animals have families just like us. Animals get scared just like us. Animals want to live just like us. We want freedom.
We're getting a lot of attention here. Uh, such a busy area. Again, we're in Athens, Greece, and we are speaking in English because it's full of tourists and the local Greeks also speak English. So let's keep going. Just like us! Just like us! We want freedom! For the animals! We want justice! For the animals! We want freedom! For the animals! We want justice! For the animals! We want Because I think animals have the same feelings we do, and I think what you're doing is really important. Oh my god, thank you! Thank you. <laughs> That's amazing, yeah, wonderful. thank you! Wonderful. Wow, see, this works, guys. Tell me, do you still eat animals? No, are you vegan? I'm on my way, I'm vegetarian. But Fantastic, I'm almost there. Thank, thank you so, you so much. much. The next step for you, not only to go vegan, but to join this group here, they call Direct Action Everywhere, to become an activist, to speak up for animals and help other people make a connection just the way you have. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my god, I love you. Thank you. You can sign up to Challenge 22 on Challenge the internet. Challenge 22, okay. Let's write it down. This is the power of direct action. Challenge 22, yep, look that up. Uh, type in vegan. It's a vegan, yep, that's the one. Perfect. Sign up to this, they're going to help you transition for 22 days full support. All right, thank you. Oh my gosh, this is great. Bye, thank you. Bye. Yes. Yes, thank you. Wow, that is incredible. So, you know, sometimes people are going to be moved to action. They're going to feel that compassion in their hearts. They're going to recognize injustice and want to change their actions. And other times people are going to stick their fingers in their ears and say, nah, I hate this. That's what we used to say. We were so judgmental about uh, disruptions and we hated the idea of direct action until we understood it. So please watch The Science of Social Change on YouTube. It's a video by Direct Action Everywhere on their YouTube channel that will help explain how we create social change. There is actually a science to this. It's not just us going around screaming for fun. Previous social justice movements have only been successful because they have disrupted. And that's what this we need to do. This is a peaceful demonstration which won't take movement. up too much of your time. Let's go again. Location number two. For the forgotten victims of our food choices, the animals. We are not here to judge anyone, as we too all want eight animal products. Until we learn the violence and disgusting truth that the animal products industries deliberately keep hidden from us all. Businesses and consumers have a right to know what we're paying for. Cows raised for beef are dehorned, branded and castrated. Pigs have their teeth, ears and tails mutilated and are also castrated. Chickens are de-beaked and all of these agonizing mutilations are done to baby animals without pain relief. To force lactation, mother dairy cows are repeatedly, forcibly impregnated. 
have their babies stolen and are forced to produce around 10 times more milk than they naturally would for four to seven years until the production declines and they're no longer profitable and are killed for cheap hamburger meat or pet food. Female dairy calves are raised to suffer the same agonizing fate as their mothers. Male dairy calves won't produce milk and won't grow big enough, fast enough, to be profitably raised for meat, and so they're considered waste products by the dairy industry, and are killed within days, or raised and killed for veal. Egg-laying hens come from hatcheries. Baby male chicks won't produce eggs, and won't grow big enough, fast enough, to be profitably raised for meat, and so they're considered waste products by the egg industry, and are killed along with any baby female chicks perceived to be deformed or weak by either being ground up alive, gassed, or suffocated. This is standard legal practice on all commercial egg farms. Caged, barn laying, free range, organic, and higher welfare. Egg laying hens are forced to produce up to 330 yes, eggs a vegans. year did you hear what she said? They are vegans. It's becoming more normalised to stand up against violence towards animals. And are killed for cheap meats or pet food. These are just some of the many horrifying realities for animal victims of the animal products industry. And industries are aware that most people are good and don't want to pay for these things to be done to animals. So they try to ease our consciences and convince us that animals are killed humanely. But the truth is that no animal goes willingly to the execution. They try desperately to evade the kill shoot, but not for People are watching, the people are filming, the they're listening. So how do we humanely kill a sentient Would we kill this animal? Would we kill this dog? No, we wouldn't. So we have to be that consistent, we don't need to not kill any animals to be unnecessarily. Healthy, then how can we morally justify needlessly killing sentient beings who don't want to die. Animal products have been scientifically linked to some of our leading causes of death, including heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and some forms of cancer. Animal agriculture is one of the leading causes of climate change and environmental destruction. And with so many meat, dairy, and egg products made from plants, available at supermarkets, eateries, and restaurants just like these, it's never been more convenient or tasty to make the switch. Watch the film Dominion for free on YouTube. Watch the film Dominion for free on YouTube to learn more about how animals are exploited for food, clothing, entertainment, testing, and the pet industry. Because it's not food. It's violence. It's not food. It's violence. It's not food. It's violence. Humane slaughter is a lie. Animals do not want to die. Humane slaughter is a lie. Animals do not want to die. Humane meat is a lie. Animals do not want to die. Humane milk is a lie. Animals do not want to die. Humane cheese is a lie. Animals do not want to die. Humane eggs are a lie. Animals do not want to die. When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Animal liberation! When do we want it? 
it? Now! What do we want? Animal liberation! When do we want it? Now! Are we going to fight for it? Yes! And are we going to get it? Yes! What do we want? Animal liberation! And when do we want it? Now! Stop the slaughter! Good, good, huh? good, good, yeah. yeah. Throat's gone, but uh, you know, the <laughs> animals are in a much, 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 much worse position. Absolutely. Yeah. So any suffering that we may endure, nothing. 
Nothing. We've got to keep doing this for those animals who are suffering right now in hell holes that we call farms and slaughterhouses and testing laboratories or torture laboratories more accurately on fur farms, in puppy mills and in all the ways that animals are being exploited in zoos, at rodeos, at, in marine parks everywhere, all around the world. We've got to be taking non-violent direct action. It's got to be sustained. There are enough vegans to bring about the social change that animals so desperately need. We just need each and every one of us to step up, to say, you know what, I can do this too. That's what people in the civil rights movement did with the sit-in movement. They said, you know what, it's time for me to take a stand. I can do this too. Join your local direct action everywhere chapter. Get involved in non-violent direct action. If there isn't a chapter where you live, start one. There's an uh, organizer's handbook on the DXC website that can help you out, give you a blueprint. It's really, really easy and it's really, really effective because it starts the social debate. It starts the social conversation. People are forced to acknowledge that animal rights is an issue and then they have to take a position on that issue. They are either for animal exploitation or they're against it. As Gary Francione says, there is no third option. You heard the man. That's it. I think we're going to start at a third location. I might end this live stream now because it's pretty much going to be the same thing over and over. If something very exciting happens, I will start another live stream. Thank you everybody for watching, for supporting this action. Again, share it. It's going to be on our IGTV. Uh, and as Lucas said, as I've been saying all night, join DXE, start some direct action. Thank you for your support. The animals need all of us. Let's do this. Bye.